It's hard to think of an industry that hasn't been affected in some way by the COVID-19 pandemic, and that includes real estate. According to a recent report from the Realtor Association of the Sioux Empire, it is expected that social distancing, unemployment, and lower economic activity will continue to impact the industry in the near term. In tonight's Eye on Kelly Land, Kelly Volk finds out what this unprecedented time means for the housing market. Preston Evans has a special connection to Hartford. My dad was a dare officer in Hartford at West Central for quite a while when I was growing up. So I like, I grew up like going to West Central games. And now the Sioux Falls man and his family will establish roots in the town. They're in the process of buying a house there. It had everything that I wanted and then it had everything that Ashland wanted in, in the house. So it was like. Despite uncertainty stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic, realtor Sean Larson with EXP Realty says there is still plenty of interest in buying homes in the Sioux Falls area, but he says inventory is low. So we have tons of buyers because the interest rates are so low. Um, and not enough homes for people to purchase. According to the Realtor Association of the Sioux Empire, the number of homes available in April of this year was down more than 20% compared to April of 2019. I think it's been bad the last the last couple of years. It's just gotten extremely worse, I think, the last, the last two months. Some hesitation could be linked to the pandemic. The uncertainty and the fear of people wanting to put their homes on the market either not being able to find the house that they want to move into um, or being jobs um, canceled, prom uh, promotions pushed back, things like that that may have had effect on it as well. Larson says the market is still strong, though, and people working in the real estate industry are adapting to the current situation. There's no, um, there's no old normal. There's no we're going to get back to that normal. We're just, uh, uh, it's just a new thing every day. So you have to uh, adapt or die. If you are looking to buy during these uncertain times, Evans has some advice. I think cash reserves and uh, just knowing where your finances are and not like budgeting and doing some of those things, like that provides certainty and clarity of what I, what I can do. When, when the world starts getting shaky and rocky, um, I know that, hey, I, I've got this, like I can survive for this long. In fact, it's through their own careful planning that Evans and his wife have found their new home in Hartford. Feels really nice and, and comforting that, you know, we've done it right and we've been patient and then we got what we wanted and we're able to move in. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Kelly Vol. The Realtor Association of the Sioux Empire says the industry is adapting by using virtual showings and e-signings to help customers.